words of wisdom are food for the mind. Right, Junior? Right, Pop. All right, then. Is your head hungry? Famished. Good. Open wide and I'll feed it. You ready? Shoot. It is one thing to propose, but quite another thing to execute. That, my boy, is a very wise saying. Feel smarter now? No. Yeah, I thought so. No. What do you mean, no? I don't understand what it means. It means easier said than done. Simple? Yeah, but I still don't get it. Well, then I shall tell you the story of the mice who bell the cat. That'll explain everything. For years, the mice had been living in constant fear of their arch enemy, the cat. Never did they have a moment's rest, for the cat would ambush them, chase them, jump up and down on them, and toy with them every chance he got. Finally, the poor little mice could stand it no longer, and they called a meeting to see what could be done about their dreadful situation. Something's got to be done. Look, I already got a gray hair. And, and I'm a nervous wreck. The whole trouble is that cat's too quiet. He's always pussyfooting around. We can never hear him coming until it's too late. Many plans were discussed and rejected. Then at last, a young mouse named Murphy got up and proposed. Oh, why don't we just hang a bell around the cat's neck? Then we could always hear him coming in time to make a getaway. Murphy's plan was very well received, and it was immediately put to a vote. All those in favor of Murphy's idea say aye. 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 Now, being that it's Murphy's idea, all those in favor of letting Murphy bell the cat say aye. 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 Ay, 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 nay, nay. But the eyes had it, and Murphy was elected. Good luck, Murphy. Anything you'd like to say before you go? Yes. I got a big mouth. Having no choice but to at least try, Murphy set out to find the cat, which, as he feared, was no trouble at all. What have we here? Uh, would you believe me if I told you that I'm a beaver? What do you think? I think you think I'm a mouse. That is correct, food. And Murphy was forced to flee for his life, narrowly escaping capture by ducking through a hole in a fence inches ahead of the cat. Oh, that was a close one. If I ever expect to get this bell on that monster, I'll have to think up some way to trick him. Reasoning that his task should be quite simple, if only he could put the cat to sleep, Murphy quietly crept up behind the cat and ever so softly whispered into his ear. rock a pussy in the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. <coughs> oh, boy! It worked! But just to make sure, are you asleep, cat? What do you think, food? I think I goofed. That is correct! And again, Murphy had to run for his life. This time, I'll take a more direct action. I'll knock him cold. They can't play tricks on me. And boldly walking right up to the cat, Murphy hit him with all his might. Well, hello there, food. Oh, what a shame. You broke your bat. So I did. How do you feel? Oh, I got a slight headache, but other than that, just fine. Would you consider giving me a five-minute head start? What do you think? I think it's out of the question. That is correct. Now, Murphy was not a mouse to give up easily, and striking on a plan with which to outsmart the cat, he carefully put the collar with the bell into a box, wrapped it as a gift, and then placed it where the cat would be sure to see it. To the nice cat from a friend. Oh boy, a collar with a little bell on it. Oh, just what I've always wanted. The cat quickly put it on and was overjoyed with his new gift. <laughs> tingling, tingling. <laughs> it worked. Never again will he be able to sneak up without us hearing him. Ha, oh, he's coming now. <laughs> he won't fool me this time. He's coming from that direction and he's getting closer and closer. Now I can get ready to run because he's right. What? Ice cream, ice cream. Get you nice ice cream right here, ice cream. Well, well, what do you know? Well, if that's the ice cream man, what happened to the cat? Uh, what do you think? I think this is the biggest boo-boo I've made yet. That is correct. <laughs> And so you can see, after all was said and done, more was actually said than done. You understand now, Junior? I sure do, Pop. The moral of the story is that if you're full with bells, you're apt to get told off. Huh? Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's one way to put it, yes. <laughs>